E un subosit. Auzi, dar tu poți să faci efort? You cannot tell me that was a fire. Oh my, that was so fresh. I'm not wearing my bike. That is, that's okay though, that's okay. That intro was, that was really good. Look, it took me like two hours to edit that intro. I think just for that, you should drop a like. Um, but if you're still a little hesitant, I understand that because uh, you're still waiting for this setup right here. This is just filler for me to charge my phone right there because I used it all day and now I can't record with it? Yes, yes it is. But if you change that in three, that's probably gonna be a bad transition, I'm not great at this. Three, two, one. Uh, I was totally not in the right, I know I was in the right area and that didn't match up at all. You might like to call this maybe some sort of like a hype beast type setup, which I think is probably a good name for it. Give me a second, these kids are pretty loud. Shut up! Okay. So, I kind of think it's maybe like a hype beast setup. I was originally going for something kind of like a surfer setup or like a surfer vibe. And you can see in one of my previous videos that I actually have this same setup right here and it's kind of showing you how to set up custom icons, but it's not about the setup. That's what this video is for. So if we take a look at this really good setup, um, you can see that we got some pretty fresh looking icons on the home screen and it's kind of like a surfer setup also kind of like a hype beast setup, I, somewhere in between the two. And you can see that the second page of apps might be more of a hype beast setup than the first one. But let's just get into the first page and I'll go through the apps. So first up, we have this widget on top. And if you don't know how to download widgets, got some previous videos about that. Probably link them in this iCard, not right there, right there, what am I talking about? Link them in the iCard right there. Um, and yeah, I kind of, I set this up on my own. It does have a dark mode theme and I tried to build out the dark mode theme a little bit more. If you want to run with the dark mode type theme, then just set your background to just black, like a black background. Also, I have another video about transparent widgets if you want to learn about that, where you can basically have any background you want, but keep VW bug and keep blocks with uh, the different information on them. Now on the blocks we have where the sun is gonna set and since I have mine to auto dark mode, um, when it reaches dark mode, it actually switches to tell me when the sun will rise, which is kind of useful sometimes, especially for like photography and stuff like that. So I could see when the sun is gonna set today at least. So I got about maybe like two hours left and you can also see what time it is. Now you might be wondering why is the time just a little bit off? Cause you can see in my corner it says 4.53 and in the timer it says five. I'm not sure the widgets don't update every minute, which is kind of a issue. They update every five minutes. So it, it is a little off, but it's good just for like a glance. You could be like, oh, that's close to that time. Um, it's always close to like what time it normally is. Next up, we got the icons and my icon pack is linked down below and it's a Google Drive link and you just basically download all the icons. If you wanna learn how to do the custom animations, just click the i card. I got another video on custom animations, things like that. Um, and all of these apps are really nice, especially with the custom animation. You click them and they open up straight into the app and close it. You see how fast that loads, right? Um, so that's basically my first page. Everything else is kind of just the normal like apps that I use instead of whether I use dark sky, but everything else works out pretty well. Um, so we can go to my second page. Now my next page is a widget setup that I also created. Um, click the Google Drive link down below. Also to see and download these widgets, um, you can download them with the QR code. Again, oh my gosh, man, I made a ton of videos, but I got another video on how to download these widget codes. You can see that I have this widget setup up at the top with the Nike icon, I think looks pretty fresh, pretty nice. And a uh, little secret here is I have this thing called Yidget, I think it's called, but the thing about Yidget is it creates blank icons. So if you go in here and just hit the space bar, or if I go all the way to the end, you can see I got all of these blank icon apps. Now it's actually called Yidget um, to find in the app store. And you can basically put it in your home screen and it'll let you create completely blank widgets. So there's no icon, there's nothing. So you can see how blank these are. Um, so it looks like I don't even have a widget on the left side. Now I made it purposefully like this, I stacked them so you can actually do this and hide 
both of them and it looks like you don't have any widgets there now this is for like i don't like looking at the clock icon all the time but sometimes i need to so i can just simply swipe it up and there we go there's my clock icon i can swipe back down and it's gone or um, I like seeing the covers of my album sometimes. I think it looks cool, especially on this setup, but I don't like these two together. So I just kind of swipe this one up and that way I don't have to see them both together, but I still get access. I can just swipe down, swipe back up, um, which I think is really nice. I also added uh, some information on the bottom one right here. Here's another blank widget and you can see that you can edit it, everything like that. And there's nothing on this side, which is cool. So I just put the app there so it would push that over. And that's kind of nice and then on my last page i have this called the tday or today widget and the cool thing about this one is you know it it just kind of shows you everything that's going on it shows you the high low of the weather what weather it is right now some news some calendar and some music and you can actually change this up to whatever you like um, you don't even have to have that uh, ocean behind it you can go in the app you see here here and you got all of these customizable widget settings so you can actually go right into transparent there is a pay to mode but you don't like everything else is fine the only thing you can pay for is this kind of theme but that's not really that useful and you see we do that and you just go home and there we go it kind of it kind of fits in right here and it'll actually show you what music's playing and everything that's going on um, I tried to make that as quick as possible. Oh, what am I doing? And lastly, we have my wallpaper. Um, now, I actually created this wallpaper myself. It's based off an old Nike icon that I was using before. Um, if this music player would go, or you could see the wallpaper right here and download it in the, again, the Google Drive link below. And the cool thing about this is, I don't know, it's just, it's just like a fresh wallpaper, you know? If you're on your home screen, it's just, it's just kind of chilling. I got some, a few others. Um, I'll put them right here if you want to screenshot them or again, Google Drive. But yeah, if you really like them, yeah, I, I really like them. And I think you guys will really like them too. Um, that's pretty much it for me. I tried to make this video as fast as possible just to quickly go through and show you what my setup for my iPhone is. And this is all unjailbroken. Just keep that in mind. If you did like it, be sure to drop a like. Uh, I'm just saying, I, it really helps me out. And if you want to push this out to some other people, that would be really nice too. Now, this video isn't sponsored by anybody, but it would mean a ton to me if you guys check out Melon. Now, Melon isn't my sponsor or anything, but it's just a service that I like to use. And you can use my code um, and basically get some get some free stuff, you know? They didn't even know I was making this video. I just think it's a really nice service. You can go on it and it's basically a streaming service. So if you're trying to be a streamer and you don't have a good computer, you can just head over to Melon. And the cool thing about Melon is it doesn't use any CPU or GPU resources. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It just sends whatever's going on to the server away from you and you can actually use that to stream your computer to YouTube, Twitch, whatever you want. Even Facebook Live, I think is an option, which is really awesome. And yeah, if you wouldn't mind using my code, that would be appreciated a lot. Oh, you can see me right there. Well, it looks like you reached the end of my video. Uh, that is really impressive. You know, you are actually one out of the like 20% who actually stayed at the end, which is pretty crazy. Um, now, if you did like this video, I'm telling you right now. Anyway, if you do like this video, be sure to uh, click this video or that video or even the subscribe button. Because the cool thing about all three of these buttons is uh, they help me out, they help grow my channel, and they help you out because I'm doing some setups. I, well, I'm doing a lot of setups and I got a new Reddit series and a new setup series coming soon. If you guys want to check those out, again, click the buttons.